Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey everyone. Uh, back with another tutorial. A, a comprehensive tutorial for the project which we've created as a team, the inventory system. today we're going to show you how to make the most out of this project so first things first let's let's make an item um, and then okay let's go to the blueprint section in the inventory section just just remember that we have we both have a, an advanced and, and a basic item if, if you want to say if you want to save the details uh, you need to go to the advanced version of it. So over here, we'll go to in the in the basic settings. I'm gonna type in let's let's make a chart of it. Let's make a chart blueprint and then name this BP test item. And then I'm gonna go inside in the section in the viewport section. You can you can see that you can get a both skeletal and a static mesh. And then over here on the right hand corner you can set the amount in the right corner so after you create the item you can come here and then set the settings for instance the collision box aesthetic mesh or skeletal mesh for instance I'm gonna create some static mesh let's just type in as like a cinema camera after you create the item you can, you can type you type in you press f2 and then you can type in the name and then for the data table you come here and then search items data table you can get a state table you can get the date the, the main data table for the new for the new item, you can come up here and then press add. When you when you highlight it, you you, you, you can, when you come down in a row, you can come and then change the name, and then you can paste the exact name over here, and then after that you can okay, give uh, its characteristics. For instance, I'm gonna type in a name here, in the camera, for instance. Uh, how many how many the maximum yeah. slots that it can stack uh, for instance if your slot can 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 have one or two camera you're gonna type in two and then over here you can set its texture mm, this is for instance my my camera texture how how if if for instance if it has a use type you can give it here. Uh, mine doesn't have any if you want to equip it like a weapon flashlight as you can see over over here you can you can you can assign it over here over here and the enum sections if you want to set it as an static mesh for for shop purposes you can you can set the camera here. I can add it again here. Let's see. Yeah. This data can be used for scaling, location, rotation, uh, rotation for in the in the shop section. And obviously, you can give it uh, give other features. To, you can set uh, its price, whether it can be sold or not, the buy price, sell price. Um, We've we've distinguished it. We've made a difference between the sell price and buy price, so you can change the settings in the project as well. Also, you can group it. We've already assigned some groups for it: the rifle, heel, armor, other items. For instance, this goes to uh, the other category. It doesn't belong to the other category, so I'm just going to type in other. And then this this is. This shows how many items can be bought 
when you when you press the buy button um, I'm just gonna set set it to one and then for instance if you make it equipable you, you set it over here um, obviously if, if it wants to be dropped you can you can see the checkbox over here you can check or uncheck and then in the inspect text I'm gonna type in here is a good camera so it's visible from the outside and then short info is is basically short info nothing more to add so basically this section uh, helps you with the settings the details of the created objects the slots prices etc etc and it gives you a, a rough idea of what it does Okay, I'm just going to show you how you can test the uh, objects, the items uh, in the map. Yeah. And after this, after after adjusting the settings, you, you can come here. For instance, the camera that we just created. I'm just going to place it in the map. And yep, voila. Uh, yeah. Since I've made it a pick pickable object, an, an object that can be picked up. You can see it has been picked up and it's been stored in one of our slots in the inventory system. For, and then you can see you can combine it, you can drop it, you can move it, whatever feature you want to give it, give to it, then you can you can set it. And yeah, it works fine, just as expected. Okay, uh, moving on to the next section, we're going to talk about weapons. Um, of course, it's, it's obviously an important uh, factor of this project and uh, many, many people might be wondering how to, uh, how they're going to be able to. So. Uh... Yeah, uh, let's not let's not forget. You can use your own weapon, and you can you can assign its settings in in this project. When I go to BPE in the weapon section, uh, as you can see, I've already I've, it's it's part of the advanced item. Uh, talking about referring back to what we just covered because it has some advanced uh, technical details. It's characterized as as advanced item and bear in mind it's fully replicated i actually suggest you can you can use it for your own project as well and obviously if if, if you want to change the settings of of the weapon you can come to this viewport excuse me you have to create a sharp uh, blueprint uh, class out of it and for instance we have what already a one over here, BP Deadshot, and then when I open its details in the class defaults, uh, in the details, you can set the properties that that you want. For instance, the ammo in the magazine, the range, basically whatever uh, feature that you can see over here, mm, all the necessary stuff, gun kick base damage yeah it's 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 already assigned to this project fire mode uh, in, even this one fire mode if it's a single shot it's a burst shot it's an auto automatic weapon it's already been assigned to this project mm, the reload speed you can change the reload speed over here the ammo type Mm. This is my settings, so you can create your own. So basically, whatever a weapon needs, all the essentials. And then, in the details, you can also, let's not forget, you can change the sound effects and the animations. Another key element of uh, this project, this inventory system, is the fact that you can combine different objects together to create a new uh, item. And now I'm going to show you how it works. So 
in the content content page uh, I'm just gonna type in combine and then go to the data table as you can see I've already created uh, one object and then when I press add you can um, I'm, I'm gonna add a new uh, combination and then when I press F2 I have to be sh be sure that I have to uh, type in as 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 demonstrated above in the first row with the BP prefix. So the first item plus the second item, and then the results are shown below in the data table. So as 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 it's obvious, when I add a one red fern amount one with one uh, green fern. I'll get I'll get a first aid kit, and then I'm gonna I can change the amounts uh, on the bottom bottom section. Uh, easy as that, and that's how you can create your own uh, combination. Just just make sure you you copy the same uh, the same method as as I've already as I've already done, and then make sure you type in how many you want the results and let's just test it so when i open the in inventory uh, let's just pick up a uh, green fun and red fun when i open the inventory when i combine both of them together i'll, I'll get a i'll get two first aid kits instead of one easy as that Upgrading items is also easy uh, in this project, just as I'm going to show you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and obviously this is for the adv advanced items, as explained, because you cannot say the details. So moving on. Um, we have a weapon here, and, and as you can see here, the weapon, which is an inherited its characteristics from the BP class, has its advanced characteristics. For me to be able to upgrade it and to show its upgrades. I'm going to show you just, just down here because you can see, yeah, the upgrades are here. In the upgrade pod, there are different elements that you can change and make it make it as an counted as an up, up, upgrade. For instance, I have a power upgrade. Mm, the reload time, um, which obviously determines the, the, the reload speed. So also for, for for so for instance for the power i can um, add some new 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 add, give it some new characteristics to it mm. obviously as you can see these items uh, these upgrades are, are being done in the shop so what what i'm going to do is Basically, just if 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 I gonna if I'm gonna upgrade it one level, the effect's gonna be uh, by f 35 fold, and then the price can be adjusted here. And then when I when I open another row for level two, I'm, I'm what I'm gonna do is sorry, another one. I'm gonna change it. So for instance, I'm not gonna give it like F. 35 fold bonus i'm going to make a 56 fold and then obviously i'm going to change the price and then in the detail section i'm just going to say more more power uh, make sure you don't change this 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 section so let's go in the shop i'm just going to talk to the vendor here and then this is the level one and I hold it it's gonna get upgraded and then obviously since I've adjusted the level 2 to 56 uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna see the results here yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Okay, moving on to the next section, the UI keys. Uh, as you know, the UI keys are uh, the quick, call it quick, the keys that you define, um, which makes the tabs move around in the inventory section. And uh, this project is also compatible for consoles, uh, for instance, the PlayStation, uh, for instance, PlayStation and Xbox. And a good example for UI keys is the Q and E or L1, uh, R1 key on the PlayStation. And oh, yeah, how it works over here. So in the contents, um, in the <clears throat> let's just let, let me just show you here. I'm just gonna move in between inventory and map. Mm. And then let me let me show you in the content section how, how this works. I'm gonna type in WBP nav. Yeah, over here. And then let's just find find the keys here, over here. You can find the variables here or in the class defaults, and then you can come here for the keys in the navigation keys. You can add your own keys. Obviously, like 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 I've already mentioned, you can you can go, you can make it for for the console version as well in this section. <clears throat> uh, obviously, if you don't want to have it a key, you can delete it. Uh, and there's an already uh, default uh, keys assigned for this for Windows. But obviously, you can change and tailor it to fit your needs. Uh, okay, let's go. Uh, let's let's go ahead and show you how to walk around with the shop. <laughs> As you can see, we've we've placed designated uh, locations for shops. This is where you buy, uh, upgrade, and sell items. Um, <clears throat> how we can the way we create shops locations is is actually by going by going into context section and type in BP shop and just drag and drop anywhere that you want and just set the location and then. This is where you can start. Uh, you can do your shopping, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then to determine what kind of items you can you can have in your shop is. Let me just just type in shop manager. This basically this blueprint is 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 what keeps the data for the shop manager. And then in shop inventory you can come. And then let me just see. And then in the inventory you can set the anything that you want. To be to, to be able to, to, to for you to be able to sell it for the user to be able to sell it and then there's no limit for you and how many there's no li you have you can have unlimited slots of items for you to be able to trade and basically buy and sell I'm just gonna type in BP test just to show you how it is. let me just create a test item so this is where you determine how many items you're going to have inside the shop five times and then the short don't the basic it's best if you don't change the short and equipped keys okay let's go and interact with the well vendor this is taking a long time yeah let me just open it as you can see over here you can see the camera and then you can purchase it um, if you want to change the size and rotate the camera actor, you you go over here in the items, in the item table, the one that you've already seen, seen, and then this is where you change the location, size, and the rot rotation. So let me change it and and show you how changes are being applied to to the shop. Let's go into the play mode. 
let's go ahead and talk to this guy one more time. Yes, so as you can see, the changes have been applied to the uh, aesthetics of the camera and how it's, how, how it's basically shown in, in this shot. Okay, last but not least, uh, let's talk about the storage mm, as, as it's one of the elements that's present in this project. Let's, let's just go to the storage box. You can store your items here, like, like in, in other famous games. Uh, you know how it works, for instance. Um, when I when I store the weapon, it's gonna it's gonna be stored obviously inside the storage area, and then when I when I click on takeout, yeah. I'm just gonna it's just gonna be replaced back into my into my character. So um, let me show you how this works. When I type in storage, like like the shop, I'm just I'm just gonna drag and drop wherever I want to have a storage. And then obviously storages can be accessed from different locations. So one one item stored in one storage can be accessed to uh, other storages in other locations. So, so let me just open. Just try it one more time. Easy. The, uh, oh, let me not, let's let's not forget to mention that for, for the items that you want want for you to be able to be stored in the storage, I'm gonna come over here. You can see the inventory slots over here, and then and obviously you can see the items that that you're gonna start your uh, storage with. So, but keep in mind, don't increase the storage size to more than 24. Uh, for optimization purposes. Um, so yeah, as you can see, uh, I'm just gonna add, I'm just gonna add a, te a test item. Just make it test item. Don't change the other settings. Just just type in how many amounts of, of that item that you want. So let me just go back to my, my storage. As you can see. I see my camera, I'm gonna take it out. I'm just gonna take it off myself. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in and I hope this uh, tutorial was helpful. Uh, um, I'll be happy to answer any questions. If, if you have any difficulties or any questions with this project, I'll, I'll be happy to help anyone in need.